hi guys uh, so I'm here uh, with another video and this time uh, this is um, I have got a question uh, from uh, from somebody and he uh, says that uh, he's actually coming across a problem in Excel whenever he tries to enter some number like this 3 2 it is not entering as a whole number but instead it is uh, you know showing as a decimal number and he has tried a lot he has uh, checked the you know things in the Google and but he's not able to get that so that's why he just wrote me a, an email in a hope that you know it could be addressed so my friend um, I don't know actually you haven't shared the Excel uh, file with me but I'm sure if you're doing this that you're entering some number and it is not giving you the whole number but the decimal number then please do one thing uh, if you're working on Excel 2010 go to this file tab and the option and uh, in this tab uh, uh, underneath this advanced tab just check that uh, uh, this uh, tab which says automatic automatically insert a decimal point it should not be like this one or two right because if it is going to be two then what will happen is uh, whenever you are going to enter some number you will get it in a decimal number right and there is no way of doing it there's no way of converting it you know back to the whole number uh, if you're going to multiply it with the hundred only then you know you will be able to get through it but then what what happens to the next numbers if you have some more numbers so every time you'll have to multiply it by 100 right so I I'm sure that that might be the reason in case if you're not able to get um, through it please let me know about it send me the file but I'm sure I think 99% of the uh, time this this is exactly the reason that you are this automatically inserted decimal point it uh, should have been changed by somebody right I really don't have any idea how this got changed but you can always keep it zero so the moment I'm gonna keep it zero what will happen is next time you'll enter a number it will not be converted back to the decimal right so I hope you like the video and in case um, if you like the video please don't uh, forget to share your feedback and you know uh, do like it and please watch my all other videos as well uh, this is this is I think my 30th video so you can watch all the videos and you can be a master and an awesome in Excel let me know about your requirement in case if you're looking for some training this is my email ID and uh, you can write me your problems as well right thank you so much and God bless you all bye bye thank you